So the Desert Orchid Handicap Chase is next in a very small field for this one. And it's a three mile three furlong, 0 to 120, so that might be why. In the final moments, Darren Thompson at the top. Juniper Golf, Jim Murray, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Meenahan, Venture to Cognac, Martin Leland, Tillsworth, Glenboy, Obi Wan, U Half, Derek Hinton, and Montoya, James Follis. So seven runners. Pull up kit in force, three mile three furlongs. Hmm, could be an interesting race this one. I mean, called in, and away they go. One or two of these in this field do get pulled up quite a lot, so. Could be an interesting sort of race. This Montoya is going to be the first one to show. Proud Tarquin and you half. Then Vile Moments is after that one. And Juniper Gulf with Tillsworth Glenboy and Venture to Cognac, the back marker. So they're all safely over the first. 24 to take in all. 23 more to jump. And you half is in front by about four lengths. To Vile Moments in second. And Proud Tarquin. Tillsworth Glenboy. Montoya. Venture to Cognac and Juniper Gulf as they skip over number two. Oh, we've got at least two famous old horses in this race. What Kevin Meenahan likes to call his horses over after good old ones. Proud Darkwin and they skip over number three. And the other one is Venture to Cognac. He was to win the National many, many years ago and big chases as well. And the green jacket on the outside, that one's one of mine. So down towards the fourth then. Uh, and I'm mistaken, kind of fall. Venture to Cognac's gone, so I should have kept quiet, shouldn't I? But Venture to Cognac, he's Venture to Cognac, he's out of the race. Till with Glenboy was the one who made the mistake and looked like it was going to fall, but Venture to Cognac is the one that did a returner from last season. He may well just find himself getting retired because he's not done very well this season so far. So, what will the last we see of Venture to Cognac? Now, you half is in the lead then as they take number five. I think it's ne after next week where the transfer window comes in, but. From what I can gather, I don't think there's a week off this year, so you're going to have to really have your wits about you to get your transfers in and your entries done. So they're over the water, and there's just six left, so one unlucky trainer won't get any prize money if they all finish. I don't think they're going to all finish, though, are they? Let's be sensible about it. There's bound to be at least one pull-up over three mile three furlongs. And U half is the leader. And he's a good six length clear, probably even as much as eight as he comes into this ditch. It's not to even mention the possibility of some more fallers with only a third of the jumping done. And U half is the leader. And Juniper Gulf second. And Tills with Glenboy and Proud Tarquin. Final moments and finally Montoya. And the leader made a right hash of that one. I was lucky to stay in the plate there, the jockey. And U half. In front, oh, Chucky was nearly half on the floor. Juniper Golf is second and needs to set this ditch, but oh, he does, and he's gone. Juniper Golf went straight through that ditch. Oh, he'd been put off by the mistake that you half made defence before, but we're down to five, and everybody's gonna be holding folding at the end of this race if they stay on their feet and don't get pulled up. You half is the leader. Tillsworth Glenboy is second, Proud Tarquin is third. Vile Moments is four and Montoya is five. Or fifth. I mean, got two miles to go. Just less than two miles, actually. And U half. Already pretty much his own way in the lead. Oh, he's made a mistake. So too is Tillsworth Glenboy in second. So I wouldn't put too much money on there not being any more fallers either. But they're in Indian file just about now. Then U half in front in the pink jacket for Derek Hinton. Tillsworth Glenboy for. Obi Wan is in second, Proud Tarkin for Kevin Meenahan third, Montoya for James Follis is fourth, and Vile Moments for Darren Thompson is fifth as they take the twelfth. That's half the jumping done. And we've got five of the seven still in the race. So you half. Strange distance this race, of course, as well. Three more, three furlongs. It's just a little bit further than the Gold Cup horses want. Not quite as far as the Welsh National stayers want so it's a bit of a mishmash and don't forget it's only 0 to 120 so your top stables are not really going to get in it too much although Darren Thompson's managed to sneak one in and you half is in the lead to Proud Tarquin second till with Glenboy as they pass the winning post with a circuit to go and Montoya and Vile Moments watch out for the pull up kit now as you half comes to this next one in the lead Takes it nicely, with a slow jump by Montoya and Vile Moments down on his nose. Only one who hasn't really made a mistake so far is Proud Tarquin. 
new half continues to lead as they come to the water. Well, we get over the water okay, they always do. And new half leads by about five to Tillsworth Glenboy. Proud Tark with a Montoya. And the vile moments is about six lengths adrift as they come to this next plane fence. And all over that one okay as well. With new half still clear in front. Proud Tarkin looks to be going best of all at the moment as they come to this ditch. Took that one really nicely. New half's lead is down to three. Proud Tarquin second. Montour is outside in the blue jacket third. The yellow jacket in Tills with Glenboy's fourth, and Vile Moments is getting closer in fifth. This is the 19th. And again, the best jump was from Proud Tarquin. New half has still got the lead, and Montoya still seems to be going well. No two to Tills with Glenboy. Vile Moments the only one under strong pressure as they take the 20th. And they'll begin to bunch a little now. New half, a couple of lengths to the good. Proud Tarquin and Montoya together. Then Tills with Glenboy, who's just starting to tread a bit of water. Then boom, proud moment, proud moments, vile moments after that one. So you half then has kicked on again now. Gone five clear. Suddenly Proud Tarquin caught a bit flat-footed. Montoya's a clear second. Tills with Glenboy switching around the outside. And they've still got a fair way to go. Four furlongs to go still and four to jump. And you half is in the lead. You half from Montoya. And Proud Tarquin, this is the fourth last. And over that one, it's you half still in front. Montoya, Proud Tarquin, Tillsworth Glenboy, vile moments. You half, got to get to him, they've got to get past him. Montoya's trying hard in second. Till, um, Proud Tarquin is being dragged along by the horse in second as they take the third from home. It looks like it might be between the first three, although Vile Moments is trying to get going. And now Montoya hits the front. U Half is overtaken for the first time. Montoya's in the lead. Proud Tarquin reaches to the outside. Now U Half looks beaten. They take the second last. And over that one, Montoya gets away from it well. Proud Tarquin under strong drive and he's still pulling away. It's a two horse race now. It's Montoya down towards the final fence. Montoya in the lead. Proud Tarquin in second. Over the last they go. Montoya Montoya's in front, Proud Tarquin's trying to close in second, these two are well clear of the remainder, but Montoya's going to take it for Formula 1 Follis, and up towards the line, it's going to be Montoya that wins it, Montoya takes it from Proud Tarquin in second, Tills with Glenboy third, then new half, and vile moments, the last one to finish, three mile, three furlongs, nothing pulled up. So Montoya for James Follis, the winner, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Meenhan second, Tills with Glenboy, Obi-Wan was third, you half Derek Hinton fourth, and Vile Moments was fifth for Darren Thompson.